The cold weather season, it can really do a number on animals and humans alike, especially if the proper precautions haven't been taken. However, what if the main area of concern as it relates to your cat is indoors rather than outdoors? What if your cat is protected from the harsh and snowy weather only to encounter chilly and uncomfortable conditions inside? Is it possible that while you are warm and toasty, your cat is not too far away in your very sight and dealing with a bit of a chill in the air? In this video, we'll talk about the potential indicators. It could suggest that your cat is cold at night while inside of your otherwise comfortable and cozy home. What to look for and how to make sure your cat is comfortable and content. An interesting topic and an important one at that. And as always, I've got you covered. Stay tuned. Before I go over a few warning signs that could likely tip you off to the fact that your cat is rather cold while indoors, I'll first talk about some known sensitivities. Just like people, some cats have a tendency to feel the cold chill more than others, and these reasons, well, they're probably what you'd think. The age of your cat, fur length or lack thereof, the weight of your pet, and any underlying health issues, both of the known and unfortunately unknown a variety. Once again, back to our human example, the children and the elderly. When we talk about temperature, environmental conditions, those are the two groups that we should always monitor the most. And the same is true in the feline world. If a cat is going to struggle with the cold indoors or otherwise, it'll likely be a feline of a very young age or a cat that is of senior status. As for your cat's fur, the more fur, the better. The longer the fur, the better. And the thicker the fur, even better. Cats with a very fine coat and a light and thin coat will struggle a bit more with respect to getting warm and staying warm. In terms of weight, heftier cats have the advantage here, no surprise. More insulation. The higher the body fat, the higher the heat factor. So, if your cat is very young or very old and a bit slight in the fur and weight department, the struggle is real and in this case, visually apparent. Cats that are sick or battling a long-term medical condition are often more sensitive to cold temperatures. This is yet another reason why routine vet visits are so very important. Whether indoors or outdoors, make sure your cat is fit enough and well enough to deal with the elements foreseen, man, those that are unexpected. And now that we've provided our foundation for this topic, let's talk about the signs and the symptoms. And while these warning signs are rather straightforward, they really mean nothing at all, at least to you, without being proactive and taking proper action. Always be mindful of your cat. Sometimes something as basic as the casual glance over every few minutes could potentially tip you off to a problem. And being cold or getting cold in your home is no different. Shivering, one of the most notable and the most obvious. If your cat is shaking, almost chattering, this is a huge red flag. Your cat is cold, and in fact, your cat is shivering while indoors, this could point to something far more significant. Be proactive. Emergency action will need to be taken if your cat continues to shiver. Next up, cold to the touch. Cold ears, cold midsection, cold tail, cold everything. Sometimes that physical touch is all that you're going to need as an owner to know that your cat needs to warm up. What about that loaf position? If your cat is all tucked up and tucked in, hunkered down, perhaps even a bit more of an extreme loaf position than what you're used to seeing, well, this posture, along with being curled up tightly, could be a sign that your cat is trying to seek warmth and retain it. If your cat is curled up and refusing to release that posture, this could mean that your cat is hard at work, attempting to garner some heat. Another tip-off to you is that your cat is attempting to seek refuge via known sources of heat in your home. If your cat is resting near your fireplace, portable space heater, under those heating vents, this is a sign that your cat could be quite cold in your home. Now, while it's common for some cats to have their natural resting spots at night in the home, and for those spots to include being near uh, known sources of warmth, if you know your cat's normal routine, you'll be able to spot a few oddities. If you find that your pet is closer to the fire than usual, right up against the portable heater more so than usual, do not ignore it. There could be much more going on than simply the visual alone. The next sign involves pillows and blankets either their own comforts from their own bed or the pillows and blankets from your sofa or your bed. 
If you've noticed that your pet is actively seeking out items, materials, and even you as a source of warmth, that means they want more than just the curlo. They're looking for those reinforcements. And here again, some cats just love blankets, even on a hot summer night. But as an owner, watch for those extremes, anything that goes above and beyond the norm. This is especially true if you've already, uh, through physical touch, found that your cat seems to be on the cool side. And the final sign that your cat is cold in your home at night, the final warning sign that I'll cover here today, is lethargy. Similar in many ways to illness, cats that are struggling with their environment and attempting to warm up often shut down a bit. They're just tired and out of it, not too interested in moving about and playing. This is likely due to the fact, as it relates to being cold, that hey, all attention's focused on getting warm and staying that way. Curling up, hunching, the use of blankets, it all makes sense for your cat if your pet is indeed a bit chilly during the night while indoors. As an owner, if you should find yourself in this situation, especially if you reside in a harsh, cold-weather climate, there are, in fact, a few things that you can do to help the situation, even to prevent the situation. First up, let's talk about bedding. I mentioned reinforcements just a bit earlier. If blankets are not getting the job done, consider a heating pad or thermal bed for your pet. It doesn't always have to be a full-time item during the winter or even a part-time fixture, but on those brutally cold nights, make it available for your pet. Next up, place your cat's bedding close to a known heat source. Rather than your cat seeking out the warmth help to provide it for your cat, your cat is cold, and you know that your pet doesn't fare that well during the cold winter season. Develop a routine. Moving your cat's bedding even by a few feet closer to that portable heater or vent could make a world of difference. Next up, it's all about time with you. Before you turn in for the night, cuddle up with your pet. This will not only serve as an extra measure of warmth, but it's also good company for both you and your cat. Some bonding time on the sofa is always a winner. Include the sofa and your loving arms. It's part of the cold weather routine for your feline. And finally, and this is a bit of a funny one perhaps, put some clothes on your pet. <laughs> your favorite sports team, what have you, buy a, buy a cat sweater and let them walk around the house with it on. Let them sleep in it. If your pet doesn't mind, then you're likely good to go, and so is your cat. And heck, you'll probably get a good laugh at it and... It could even be a conversation piece for family and friends and guests. If your cat is warm, they'll likely forgive you for that ugly sweater. Now, before I close things out, I sincerely hope that I'm speaking to the air right now. I hope none of you are dealing with your pet being cold at night inside, especially inside. However, at the same time, I hope this video in some way gave you some knowledge, some helpful suggestions, and just an overview as to why your cat could be dealing with a bit of a chill all the while being inside. And here again, barring a health issue, this topic is a lot like people. One person says they're hot, one person says they're cold, and they're both sitting about 10 feet from each other. Eh, what gives? Just because your cat is cold doesn't always mean that something is wrong. However, just like anything else, it's important to be proactive in recognizing the issue and taking those proper steps. That's the space you want to live in as a loving and responsible owner. To the audience of Senior Cat Wellness, where are your cats with respect to this topic? Nighttime chill while indoors, or is this, thankfully, an issue that you've never had to deal with and solve? Your personal ownership stories, your thoughts, opinions, general commentary, anything and everything in between that comment section, it's always all yours. And if you enjoyed this topic, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. I'd certainly love to have you as a member of the Senior Cat Wellness family. And until next time, thank you so very much for watching, and I will talk to you later.